welcome to this vlog. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I'm an artist, illustrator, graphic designer from Berlin. And I decided to start The Artist's Way, uh, which is a 12-week program to rediscover and reconnect with your creativity by the author Julia Cameron. This is a German version of the book, but I highly suggest that you get an audiobook so that you can listen on the go because there's a lot to do. I decided to document my process because I've been struggling with my creativity on and off for the past two years and I finally want to rediscover my inner artist, reconnect with it and create art that is sustainable for me and that I enjoy. And I know that a lot of artists suffer and that we're going through hard times globally. So why not follow me along on this journey? But first off, we need to sign a contract. The author makes you sign a contract at the beginning of the book. And I really like the idea of making this promise to yourself to stick to the plan and to do this 12 week program. And so I decided to make this very personal with my signature. One of the most important tools in this challenge is to write three morning pages every day without a break, before your day starts, before you do anything else, just brain dumping all your thoughts, random bullshit. And Julia Cameron says this is non-negotiable, so I'm trying to do it every day. Besides writing morning pages and going on artist dates, which I'll be talking about later in this video, there are also bonus tasks which you can work on each week. And I decided to sit down in my lunch break to work on some of these. And these are basically journal prompts to help you understand where your creative limits and blocks are coming from. And one of these tasks was to work on the enemies of your creative self-worth and explore this topic. Day two of writing the morning pages and I can already say that they are very helpful to me. And to be honest, I have already written morning pages in the past for a couple of months, so I know their benefits, but I've randomly stopped them. I don't know why, but I'm so glad that I'm starting these again because it is such a safe space. You can write down anything that sits on your mind. And honestly, it helps me a lot with my anxious thoughts throughout the day. I am less fearful. I have less worries throughout the day, which helps me ultimately to concentrate on the work that I have to do.
Another task from the book for week one was to write two letters, one for your inner critic or a critic from the past and one for a supporter from you, from the past or from the present or for yourself and address these to you. And I decorated these letters and made it a whole event. In week one, it's most important to gain back the safety in your art. For that reason, it's a lot about your inner critic. And one of the tasks was to visualize your inner critic and destroy it. And I decided to make a little comic sketch. It's not really a refined idea, but I decided to draw my inner critic as a very boring ghost. And it's melting away into this poor little sad puddle of whatever it is, sadness, I don't know. <laughs> So I'm still experimenting. I'm not having the goal to make it look perfect. It's just about having fun and especially right here to make my inner critic into something that I can laugh about and that is cute and that it takes away the fear and the seriousness of my inner critic. So that's why I decided to make it into this droopy, sad little puddle in the end. yesterday because I worked on another task from the book. The task was to illustrate a quote or, or something that somebody said to you that was a supporter. And I illustrated this pose or I kind of sketched out an idea for this pose. It is not the final version not whatsoever but I really like what I did. This morning I took some time to look through old art. This was not a task in the book, but I have felt the need to look for identity and personality in my own art. I have been struggling with my identity as an artist and as a person for a while now and it has progressively gotten worse since I've dyed my hair back to my natural hair color. I don't know what it is, but it's probably not the way I'm supposed to be and I'm probably going to dye my hair soon again. But looking through my old art has helped me in a way to to find a direction in where I want to go now. I definitely want to draw more spooky and cute things, which I have done in the past, but I've kind of let it slip. So I'm going to focus on this more and combining these two elements and using more pinks and being more free and experimental with my art.
it's Saturday and today is the day of my artist date, which I still don't know what to do. I have the idea to go either to a toy store, craft supply, artist supply store, go to a library and get a library card, go to a bookstore and look at kids illustration books because they are so cute and have so amazing illustrations, or I could just go on a longer cemetery walk and take pictures of the gravestones and maybe find some cool statues that I could draw. Um, also, I remember that I didn't take my 20 minute walk, which is something that's also like kind of required to do, like go on a walk at least once per week. And since I go by foot, I don't have a car and I want to stay within my area here in Berlin, I will go on a walk anyway to go wherever I want to go. But then I also have the idea to stay inside and do something inside as my artist state because I'm not really feeling like going outside and I think for the vlog it would be nice if I could go outside and do something there, but I'm not really feeling it today and also my art station and my whole office looks like a mess and it would be a nice artist date if I just took some time to get this place feeling like a place that inspires me and that I want to spend time making art at. Maybe hang up some art and make it cozy, make it something that I would enjoy. So maybe I'm going to do that. But later today I'm definitely going to an art supply store which is in another area in Berlin that takes me about an hour to get there. So yeah, you will definitely see me go into an art supply store but I think it's also great to, sh to show you that for an artist date you don't necessarily have to go outside and leave your comfort zone every time. Maybe it's just a great start for me to start on the inside and prepare a space where I actually want to create art. Mm -hmm. 